So an absolutely incredible productivity tip that I have uh, discovered recently and want to share with you today is putting books in the bathroom. Now that may make me sound like an old man, however I've been using my phone a lot and that ever since a mayor told me years ago that it's a great time to use your phone when you're in the bathroom. But I have finished an entire book in the last week just with my time in the bathroom. And King granted, the book has a lot of pictures. Um, it's this really cool science book that Mikey got me for my birthday. Serious scientific answers to absurd hypothetical questions. Um, but really can recommend putting a book in the bathroom for absolute productivity at all times of the day. Good morning. So today's mission is to solder this eh, to these, or rather these to this. So, <laughs> so this is my ESP32. These are my header pins. I uh, bought a soldering iron a while ago actually. And I've been watching YouTube videos this morning when Dad and I discussed it. And I'm going to go <laughs> now try attempt to solder these bad boys on so that I can make a solid connection and actually have my uh, digital design track working. Um, Wish me luck. I'm going to go play with this 350 degree metal soldering iron now and try not burn my fingers off. Good morning. As you can see, the incentive to work here is not very strong. Morning! <laughs> I have a digital design test this afternoon, but Kyle and I are going to see Kate and Rahul and Nat and Tay uh, at Kate's house for tea this afternoon. So, I'm going to maybe do my test, maybe not. Uh -huh. It's got to the point in the semester where like, I've done well enough in most of my tests and assignments and that do not really worry and that well just exams and finishing practicals are a worry now but like I worked out my maths yesterday my mark yesterday for maths and with a continuous assessment system I'm currently sitting on 47% so from the next two weekly uh, like tests and the exam I need three marks to pass the course so you understand the incentive to work is completely disappeared I mean I still will, will do work in that but this maths that I've been doing here has been going very slowly um, so yeah, I'm going to do that little design test notes today, do some maths, work on this project uh, for the rest of the week because it's due next week Thursday. And that's it, eh? Not very motivated. How are you doing today? How's work going? Hi. I have an oral and then... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm shouting because he told me to. The vacuum cleaner's in the background. I know! I have a German oral a bit later and then my exams start on the 4th, but pretty chilled at the moment. All my exams are online and at home, so... Been a very chilled first year. I'm very chilled, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay, back to work. And then you see that we can try to give a fully serious solution of this um, um, value problem. Uh, explain yesterday to you how we're going to decide um, whether we're going to use a science series solution or a cosine series. I'm busy catching up about six hours worth of math lectures before my math test this afternoon. It's going all right. Hey, what's up? Just out on a very quick run. Oh, after my math test, went okay. Fourier series and stuff. Um, quite difficult, but I didn't prepare enough for it. I was busy doing other stuff this weekend. It's fine. I'm on 47% for continuous assessment for math, so not that stressed about passing it at the moment. Do need to do a little bit of work on it before the exam though. Otherwise fine. Just working on projects this week. Let's get to this run. It's that time of year again, 
And by that time of year, I don't mean at the start of the rainy season. I mean it's the time of the year where man is sitting in front of his laptop for like eight hours a day trying to get a report done. Whew, control systems report due tonight, midnight, Sunday midnight. Let's do this. Good morning. I've only got 8% battery life left, so I'm going to talk fast. But an update on the work and the stuff that I've been up to recently. Um, late last night, I finished uh, control systems report number three, design and reali realization of proportional integral derivative controllers. It was alright. Um, not my greatest work. Me and my group have struggled to get it finished on time with all the other stuff that's going on at the moment. Um, but yeah, introduction and aim, controller design, a whole lot of maths with the, like these three different motor uh, designs. Um, motor control system designs, state control system, that was me, that was my maths, digital PID control, a whole lot of simulations, um, trying to get like a perfect step response um, with real world components in that, Python graphs, yada yada yada, some results for the motor, the integration, this was basically for like the control system for the line following uh, vehicle robot thingy, um, the, con the implementation in control systems was very weird and different compared to digital design, but glad it's done, anyway, the uh, yeah, latex code was took quite a long long time to do in that. And then in addition to that, actually been working on my EPR project, which I've got working right here. My demo for it is on Thursday. I'm quite stressed. We really need to do well on it to pass. All the hardware is working, but now it's just a matter of integrating it to their hub, their like um, server that they want us to communicate with and getting the system to work and communicate properly with that. So, so I've got two days to do that. I'm, I'm struggling with that right now, but it's going okay. Right here on the screen, you can see all my code for it. Um, it's not that long, it's only like 440 lines long, but there's lots of repetitive stuff, serial communication, um, writing on and off to the screen, um, using these functions here, writing to this little OLED screen here, which yeah, it's going quite well. And then in addition to that, I'm also busy trying to get my CV together, because um, that four month holiday that's about to happen soon, okay, it's more like three and a half with our holiday module, but it's really long and want to obviously get a job, want to do something productive with it. So I've been working on my CV here. Um, hopefully it's it's impressive to a software development company in that. I'll ship it off to a whole lot of companies in the next few days. Discovery, Investic, Banks, um, I don't know, anywhere where they do code and software and that because that's what I'd really like to do and I'd like to uh, spend my time doing in January. also bought a new Udemy course which I'm excited to start. Um, it is the, what's it called, Machine Learning and Artificial Intelligence course offered by the App Brewery, the same guys that did the Complete 2020 Web Development Bootcamp. Really excited to start it. So I haven't ever learned Python like officially, like in any academic capacity. I've just learned it like on and off at Varsity for stuff like Python, like the Python graphs that I just showed you in my control systems report. And we did a holiday module on it briefly in first year, but it was just copy and pasting code. It's actually learning how to do Python programming specifically for data science and machine learning and then use it for you know, all the big bad boy stuff like multivariable, linear regression, ba naive Bayes classifier and that. A lot of the stuff we learn in AI, in EAI in third year, which I'm going to do next year obviously, at the beginning of fourth year because I've shuffled my timetable around, so I'm going to do that next year in class, but hopefully by doing it in the holidays uh, ahead of time with this, I'll have a good working knowledge of it by the time the varsity semester rolls around and be able to implement it a lot quicker and actually learn it better because I wouldn't mind working in AI one day. It seems like a very interesting field and lots of opportunities. So yeah, let me get back to this work. That's all the stuff I'm busy working on right now. I also have an MIA group work impact of engineering video due for Friday, but that's Friday's problem. Um, and then about a week and a half just of lectures chilled before exams start. So yeah, exams are the easy part of the semester. So this little bit of time before exams when you have to get all your projects in, that's actually the difficult part. So yeah, thanks for listening. Let me get back to Graft. Here we have a rare sight of Kyla Perfect. actually doing housework. <laughs> you gave me such a fright. I know I gave you such a fright. I just had to show the vlog housework actually being done. <laughs> What's up? I'm sitting here at my desk with my light pointing on me, with my screen and the hub open. Got a Google Meet open over here. Got a Google Meet open over here, got my circuit here, ready to demo. I'm about to demonstrate my final um, semi-working digital design project. I'm so glad that it's over. I'm so sick of this. Every time I look at VS Code and I look at my code for this, my eyes swim and my brain feels like it's having an aneurysm. But anyway, glad to be over. Been watching the election results all morning in America. Still no results, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. And yeah, can't wait for this to be done. Whew, demo went well. Pretty sure I passed. 
the oak that uh, took us, the assistant lecturer, was the guy who coded the hub and the system. Um, so, mad respect for that guy. But yeah, done, finished. I think it went quite well. Better than expected, actually. Ah, because oh, one part of my system that um, I've been battling with Natty didn't make me test, which is lacquer. And so I definitely won't be getting 100% because my code was a bit buggy, but I uploaded my log files onto the AMS. So hopefully this should be marked nicely in that. All good. Don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day because it's not going to be work. <gasps> Vive la vida es una, vívela como tú quieras, deja que la vibra suba y vive a tu manera.